Let's talk about something happening in Sri Lanka. How would science and tech become the next big thing in their upcoming presidential elections? Well, I have something interesting to share with you based on the article Sri Lanka's Presidential Hopefuls Back Science and Tech on SciDev.net. Presidential candidates in Sri Lanka are like, we need more science and tech. They want to modernize the country and bring in better science education and basically make the future brighter for everyone. But here's the issue. Sri Lanka has been spending 0.12% of their GDP on research and development. That's not a lot. And after their recent economic crisis, there's not much left to fund all those fancy tech projects. And to make it worse, many of their talented scientists and doctors are leaving the country because conditions are getting rough. They're facing something called brain drain where experts leave for better opportunities. But don't worry, some candidates like this guy, Anura Komara Disanayaki, are like, we need new technology, especially for agriculture. He wants to boost farmer incomes and lower food prices. Smart, right? Another candidate, Sajid Premadasa, wants to pump 5 billion Sri Lanka rupees into science and tech every year. That's 16.6 .6 million in US dollars. He's also big on digitization and tech parks, bringing AI and smart classrooms to every corner of the country. But there's a challenge. With the economy still struggling, can they actually make this happen? The candidates have big ideas but turning them into reality might be tricky will science and tech save the day in sri lanka many in the region and elsewhere will look to see how this election plays out don't forget to check out the full article on sidev.net for more details if you love stories like this hit that follow and stay tuned for more cool updates on global health and climate change from the global south